Long time no see everyone, it's your old mate Chicago and back at it again. This time with a <laughs> like a compilation of things. So I'm gonna take you all out on a bit of a vlog today that I'm meeting a friend out in South Yarra and then going for a bit of window shopping and then to a film. But also hopefully we find some people to like get some outfits of and uh, also have already filmed some of those things, but because I'm super super nervous it's really hard to approach people um, all the time. So We'll sprinkle them throughout. Hope you enjoy it. Let's get to it. I'm going to turn this off because it's weird filming by myself in public. Hey, so, what are you wearing today? Um, I'm wearing a Kevin bucket hat. Nice. Uh, this hoodie's from Elix. Some awesome. running cargo pants. Nice. And some mainline Rick Owens combo boots. Wow, when did you get these boots? I uh, got them off Grail like a year and a half ago or something. They're sick. I actually was looking at similar boots like that. But... Yeah, it's like the warmness of it, like, that's what sold me because they're already like worn in and stuff. They look really cool. They look beat up. They've got character and history and whatnot. Yeah, nice. And out of what you're wearing, what's your favorite piece? Uh, probably my necklace, to be honest. It's got sentimental value to it. Oh, yeah, what's that? So, uh, it's a gift from like my dad bought me the chain for my birthday, and I got the pendant with my friends. So, it's got sentimental value. Oh, sick. And what do you do? Uh, I do like warehouse work, so it's a lot of strenuous manual labor. Yeah. Like, really what you'd imagine like a kid into fashion would like be doing, you know? Yeah. Um, if it pays the essence wish list. Yeah. <laughs> no worries. Cheers. And what was your name? Vincent. Yeah, cool. Nice to meet you, Vincent. Thanks for that. No worries. Cheers. Hey, so what are you wearing today? Um, I've got <laughs> uh, Dickies pants. I've got Vans shoes. I've got um. My, I've got a Macabre Gadgets uh, Crow Skull Ring and a Macabre Gadgets uh, Athena Pendant and then I've got this that I got at uh, a Mop Shop. Nice, and what would you say is like your favourite piece of what you're wearing today? Uh, definitely uh, these. Um, They're so sick. Yeah, thank you. Uh, <laughs> it's Macabre Gadgets, it's a brand I really like. It's just an online brand and I order from that. Okay, sweet. Quite a bit, I just really like this stuff. Yeah, nice. And what do you do? Uh, I just uh, work in a hotel. Yeah, cool. Awesome. All right, have a good day. Thank you so much. Yeah. So I haven't actually been out south side in so long, so I'm really unfamiliar with <laughs> being here on Turaco, but this is where I'm meeting a friend at Master Lanz Lanzo Noodle Express. Let's do it. Alright, so food is done, it was delicious, Sinead seemed to enjoy it, did you like it? Yeah, not my mouth tastes like garlic. Yeah, that. that's what you want to hear, right? A garlic mouth. Um, so now we're going to go check out a shop nearby called Creamy Velvet that sells some secondhand designer stuff and see if there's anything cool to look at. So let's do it. Hey, so what are you wearing today? Today I am wearing a washi long sleeve by Devoa from Japan and wool pants by Dehygen with the leather string. Is it not too hot for the pants today? Thankfully it's a little bit cooler today and I've got the AC on so it's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> and what about on foot? On foot you've got your classic Rick Owens leather sock boots. Nice. Yeah, love these. And they look really good with the crop pants. Yeah, I've always been curious to try and dabble in that bit. Yeah, maybe one day, maybe, maybe one day. One day. <laughs> Yeah, cool. So, what do you do here? What do I do? I am the creative director of Lastly. And what is Lastly? Uh, Lastly is a concept store that stocks Japanese uh, underground streetwear artists and avant-garde artists. And I do also have a couple of designers from Berlin and Queensland. Awesome. And where can we find you? You can find me on Howie Place in the city, just off Little Collins. Cool. Thank you so much. No worries. So what are you wearing today? What am I wearing? Um, I've got on AF Artifact Tank. Uh, this is a thrifted piece, Boris coat, Yogi's, and the Rick Owen sock boots. Nice. What's your favorite piece that you're wearing? Uh, favorite piece probably the sock boots. I've had those for years now. How high do they go? Uh, they go out there. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice to go. 
And what do you think of the balloons? I recently got a pair. You recently got a pair of the yeah. balloons? Yeah. Yeah, no, I really like them. I went for the ones, um, these are the ground Y ones, the 2019s, um, which were a little bit thinner, which is sort of better for like here in Australia. Yeah, for sure, right? Yeah, it's way too hot otherwise. But yeah. no, big fan of the balloons. Yeah, I had a pair of wool ones and yeah, it was a thing of like, yeah, yeah I, have to, I have to get rid of these because it's just not the yeah, that's climate. Right. Yeah, too hot. Yeah, cool. And what was your name? Jacob. Yeah, cool. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, man. Hey, so what are you wearing today? This is for Gaunt. This is, this is my nana, my nana's ring, which was passed down to my brother and then to me. And my necklace is given to me by my friends, so it's super special. Awesome. This is Rick. This is from eBay. I got it when I was like 16. How old? 16. 16. <laughs> okay. Custom made. It was supposed to be shorter, but they wouldn't go shorter. They and wouldn't? How much short did you want it? I wanted it to be like, like I wanted you to see my butt. Okay. <laughs> but close enough. And these shoes, I'm pretty sure, are fake dogs. What did I sell them? Rock. Rock. <laughs> when did you get them? Uh, this year? Because my actual dogs died. But I had these, like, these are my school shoes when I was in high school. Aww. So you're wearing a very, like, high school outfit today, though. Every day. <laughs> and what's your favorite piece that you've got on today? Uh, love it. And what was your name? My name is So what are you wearing today? Uh, I'm Ulrich. Ulrich Owen today. Ulrich, so do you want to break that down for us? Uh, sure. I've got some Mega Tooth bozos on. Nice. Uh, these are some brand new collapsed jeans I grabbed. And yeah, just a basic brick level long sleeve. And what about the glasses? Oh yeah, sorry. These are some performer shades as well. Can you put them on? <laughs> awesome. And what's your favorite piece that you've got on today? Uh, these jeans are actually sweet. Like, yeah. Didn't know what to expect from them because they're kind of like super oversized on me, but I'm loving it so far. What is it about the collapsed jeans that you wanted them? Uh, I don't know. They're just like a really unique cut. So they've got the drop crotch on them. They're long on me. I'm like 6'5 and they're already scrunching up. So. Yeah, if you can't tell, very, very tall. <laughs> very, very, very tall. Awesome. And what was your name? Anthony. Nice. Thank you. Nice to meet you. You too. All right, so head back into the city. Creamy Velvet was really good. So Creamy Velvet is like a... I don't know what to call it. It's like a shop that sells like things that are brand new, but much cheaper. It wasn't consignment either. So I'm like really unsure as to like what their, their deal is. But I put a deposit on some socks. So now I have some other things I need to sell when I get home to fund the rest of that purchase. That's a Froyo. And now we are in south bank as i'm meeting a friend later to go see a movie and currently i want to wrap this up very quickly because i want to watch tsm play in algs i really like watching apex legends it's got me through lockdowns so what are you wearing today so i'm wearing the plagiarist staff blazer um cdg staff jacket I'm wearing performance trousers uh custom made boots some jewelry custom boots yeah custom boots custom boots for the custom boots. where from um so the base is actually from story at home yeah. And the heel is from the local public. Wow, I've cool. Got a little extra layer on top to make it high. Yeah, they look amazing. Thank you. Does the staff coat have the print on the back? It does, I'll show you. Oh, and I've got a uh, little thrifted pin that I use for enclosure. Yeah, it's sick. 
Nice. I've always been interested in that coat. Do you like it? I love it. It's probably one of my favorite like, layering pieces. Yeah. Um, except that it's really long and it just sometimes it gets caught in my foot. So other than that, they're, they're amazing. I love them. Nice. And what's your favorite piece that you're wearing today? <sighs> Balaclava. 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 Why is that? Uh, no face, no case. <laughs> <laughs> can we see the jewelry? Yeah, I can. So this is again custom made. It's something I made at home just using like little hooks. Um, awesome. Got it at Spotlight. Um, did a quick job at home. Yeah. It's from a little pendant. Um, yeah, custom made jewelry. Uh, this one is thrifted. This one is from uh, Thailand when I got it picked up. Um, it's made myself with my surname. Um, this is just the plain ring. So is that. Awesome. So, cool. Thanks for that. Nice to see you again. Well, good. Nice <laughs> to see you, man. So tell me what you're wearing today. Um, so basically, um, the boots is Bottega. Nice. I love the purple. Yeah. Uh, it was actually, only, I think it was very viral last year or the year before, especially with the green color. Yeah. But mine Why? is the purple, so uh, yeah. Why did you choose the purple? Because I would say purple, it goes better with, um, because my, my overall style is uh, the avant-garde, so like Yongji, RO, stuff like that. And I think purple color goes better with black uh, outfits, so yeah, that's why I choose purple as okay. them. Then, um, green. Yeah, nice. So, uh, yeah, and the, 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 um, the trousers is, I think it's a called, it's a Japanese designer brand called Bad JW Ford. I'm not sure if you have heard of it, but uh, it was, I think it's a bit Nike. Yeah, um, but um, I do like this, um, their, their stuff because it's really, I guess, because of the style is cool, it really goes with my, yeah. um, with my vibe and also the price is more affordable than uh, all the other famous designer brands. So, yeah, and um, the shirt is um, Zhongji Yamamoto. Um, oh, nice. Yeah, it's, a, it's called Black Scandal, uh, you know, for serious and uh, that's it. And what about the tote? Uh, so these are both um, Alexander McQueen. Oh, cool. Yeah. And the bag? Uh, it's actually some for the mute. Yeah. Yeah, I recognize the bag. I was like, oh, it looks really familiar. Yeah, it, it, they do have this sort of, you know, I think they are, they are, their signature. Uh... We're starting from those three heavens, right? But this is coming up as well. Oh, sure, thank you. Yeah, I think, yeah, I do think the, the sort of, um, I guess, the floating thing is very cool. And uh, yeah, it's, um, they are definitely, I think, a very, very interesting and very uh, trendy designer brand. I think they also, both of the soft mute designer, they are also from Australia. So yeah, yeah, they are. Uh, it's probably, you could probably consider them as a local brand. So yeah. Yeah, cool. So, and uh, what do you do? Uh, I'm actually um, doing some sort of uh, corporate consulting stuff. So yeah, um, yeah, that's uh, basically uh, what I do. So uh, working in financial sector. So mm, so yeah, that's it. Yeah, cool. And what was your name? Uh, my name is Jeffrey. Oh, nice, Jeffrey. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much. You too. Okay, so after killing time for an hour or so watching the ALGS Apex stuff, TSM came second. Hurrah! Um, now here at Village Cinema is going to see. The Batman, which I've not yet, but I know some people that have seen it already, like heaps of times. And this camera is struggling to to follow me. It's really weird watching it do its thing. But yeah, let's do it. Also, check out the games they've got here: Midnight Maximum Tune Three, Time Crisis Two, and then we've got Motorade. I don't know how old these machines are, but it's funny to see them. It. A cinema, that's for sure. All right, so it's windy, and I'm back in my home area. Batman was was long. It's a long movie. I'm not gonna lie, and I don't know. I reckon it's worth it's worth a look, but it's definitely not for everyone. Zoe Kravitz is amazing. The music is cool. The club scenes are really cool if you're into that, and the lighting is all over. The, I don't know. I don't know, how good were some of those fits though? Like, I still remember uh, the guy wearing the Yoji top and Song for the Mute bag because I, we literally walked past each other and I stopped and thought, I was like, this guy looks amazing, I have to chase him down. And I was really glad that I spoke to him. And also, yeah, little story about that is that afterwards I asked him if he had like social media or something. And the absolute Lord was like, He's like, I have an Instagram, but I don't have anything on it. Like, I don't use it. I don't use Twitter. I don't use anything. And he showed me, and it's like, he followed like a couple of people, zero posts, 
zero followers and I was like damn you are truly off the grid and I admire that and sort of just like wearing the clothes you like purely because you're into them which I don't know I find really pure and you know I'm very hypocritical saying that because I'm posting everything I'm doing and getting buying and selling online but it's really nice to still find people that are purely just into it for themselves and how it makes them feel which is really really cool like everyone I spoke to was really nice if a bit nervous so yeah looking forward to making more videos and seeing where this goes I just need to get more confident or maybe be more places where people are more open to it so if you have any ideas of where to check out or places in Melbourne to check out or maybe even Australia would be cool to go into state at some stage let me know um, I'd really appreciate it thank you so much for watching this video Hope you enjoyed the <laughs> disjointed nature of it. But until next time, you'll take care of yourselves, be safe, have fun, and as always, don't do anything I'd do. Bye-bye. <laughs>